Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Tales of Vesperia. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had just gotten done saving the town of Halur, more or less, by making the tree bloom, as you can tell. And all of the uh, petals coming down and whatnot. Hopefully they're collecting a whole bunch of them, that way this won't happen again, where we end up having to rely on, you know, anime magic pulled out of the back pocket, maybe? Hmm? Anyway. And we were going to continue looking for Flynn, but I think first we had to talk to this guy before we left town. Welcome. Welcome. Here, make yourself at home. All right. Thank you, but unfortunately, we need to be leaving very soon. Yeah, true. Are you leaving before that young knight is back? The uh, situation's changed a bit. A little. Did something come up? You could say that. <laughs> yeah, that's one way of saying it. Something came up over a hill, and uh, they definitely didn't look good. If there's anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. We appreciate the sentiment, but we can't ask you for your help. I see. Then it's not much, but I'd at least like you to take this. Okay. What we taking? Who, me? I didn't do anything at all. But since your friend helped us out so much... So, so well, then, you designate I'd be happy me, I'm the leader? <laughs> Carol tried to take the spot. No, we can't take that. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, yeah, I, I guess I can't take that. <laughs> well, Carol definitely, uh, changed his tune once his, uh, old, <laughs> older lady crush told him no. <laughs> uh, but then shit. how will I ever repay you? Well, how about this? The next time we come into town, set us up with VIP Blossom viewing picnic seats. That's a great idea. <laughs> I, I mean, that's wait. an idea. That is an idea. All right, then. The next time you're here, I'll put my heart and soul into paying back what you've done for us. That's nice. Very nice. Oh, can I ask you one thing? Have you ever heard of a town called Ospio? Ospio? Ah, yes. I believe that was the name of the City of Shade. The City mm. of Shade? That sounds foreboding. From what I've heard, the town lies between tall mountains, and sunlight rarely reaches its gates. Hence the name. Every now and then, a few quiet folks in cloaks and hoods come to our town to get supplies. Uh... But they're quite creepy, to be honest. <laughs> our town doesn't deal with them much. Well, at least you're willingly going to admit they seem creepy. Where is the town located? Towards the east, I think. I wish I could tell you the exact location. Ah, I think I'll figure it out from there. Flynn was headed east as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he I suppose a city of scholars might have some link to blast you after all. True. Thanks. That's all I needed. I'm coming for you, Mortio. Yeah, there we go. Renewed resolve, we shall head out of town and... This may be a selfish thing to say, but... Mm -hmm. I'm happy this means we're continuing our journey. I haven't known this sort of freedom until now. Aww. <laughs> Princess cooped up in a castle gets to finally have adventure and she's enjoying it. Aww. So, Carol, what are your plans? I want to go to the port city and cross over to Tobikia from there. Gunzuntite? <laughs> what the fuck is Tobikia? So I guess it's goodbye then. Huh? Thanks, Carol. It's been fun. Please take care of yourself. <laughs> I think he didn't realize that means he has to On split second up. thought, maybe I'll stick with you guys a little while longer. <laughs> yep. Why? You guys would be lost and lonely without me around. <laughs> I fucking knew it. And he's, he's grabbing any excuse he can, but he loves hanging out with these guys. 
<laughs> well, you have come in surprisingly handy, Captain. Well then, let's all go together. Well, there we go. So, east was it? East. Yeah, Flynn went east. Okay. Alrighty. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Yeah. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. Absolutely. Last thing we need is them. Hey, so just who is this Flynn guy anyway? Were you and him seeing each other, Estelle? What do you mean, seeing I knew each other? Was ask Flynn like is that. Yuri's friend. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Two friends going after the same girl? You got a little wild side, don't you? Um. What do you mean, wild side? No, it's all right. You can keep your secrets. He so got the wrong idea. He absolutely has the wrong idea. But then also on top of that, he's a little bit of a... Uh... <laughs> he's taking several leaps of faith in his own judgment. <laughs> wow. I assumed he was asking <laughs> because, you know... Trying to see the angle of, oh, is she single? Uh, and he just all the way to that. What the fuck? Oh, uh, where am I going? I'm going west. I'm an idiot. Uh, my sense of direction knows no bounds. And by that I mean it knows no actual directions. Aspio. Aspio. This may be it. Oh, I can enter it. Did I enter it before? Hmm. It looks like this is Ospio. I guess I was correct. It's so gloomy and damp here. It's giving me the chills, too. It's because the city is in a cavern. Yeah, makes sense. I wonder if the lack of sun drives the people here to do shady things, like stealing Blastia cores. Yeah, maybe. It would explain a bit. It does seem they have plenty of Blastia. The sealed city of scholars, Aspio. Okay. Oh, great. May I see your passport, please? Oh, even greater. There's a passport system. Our passport? This is an Imperial facility. We can't just let anyone inside, can we? Passport? An imperial facility. You don't have one of those, do you? An associate of ours is inside. Could you please let us through? If you filled out the official visitation paperwork, then you ought to have gotten your passport from this associate of yours. Welp. This is the first we've heard, though. If you won't let us in, perhaps you could call him to the gate for us? What's your associate's name? Mordio. M mordio um, we can't help you. You'll need to mail in a request and have a passport officially issued to you. They looked scared by that development. My chair keeps squeaking because I keep leaning back. I'm just going to stop doing that. But, uh, well, um, interesting development. Uh, guard seems scared of Mordio. Somehow. Damn. Don't budge an inch, do you? Language. Like I'm one to talk. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Excuse me, but did a knight by the name of Flynn happen to stop by here? All information about the establishment is classified. We cannot share even small details with outsiders. Now, you sure change your tune about, oh, I can't figure out So people. you can't even tell me why Flynn was here? Yeah, it's odd. No. Uh, of course not. I'm not believing. So what you're saying is that Flynn really did come here. <laughs> of course, clever questions gets the answer out of him. 
Uh, I don't know who you're talking about. A knight named Flynn? Never heard of him. Could we at least leave him a message? Give it up, Esteliz. We'd have more luck asking a brick wall for help. Let's just go. But Flynn's right. inside. I know. What? We're just gonna give up? I mean... I'm not going to give up. I'm going to see Flynn. And I'm gonna take back that Blastia from that thief Mordio and give him a beating he won't forget. So can't we look for another way in? Uh, I mean... Of course we can. Let's take a stroll around, why don't we? As a last resort, maybe we could go over the walls. I mean, that's an idea. So, a... Eh? Really? A... Eh? Why is that leak bouncing up and down in the hole? Why does it look like it's enjoying it? Um. Uh. So, let's recap the absurdities real quick. This is apparently the main gate. Right here. Big main gate. Draws the eye. The possible side door we can use to get around it is right here. And then we have this. A vegetable basically fucking the ground with itself. Um. Uh. Okay, then. It has become a ninja cook with a giant golden frying pan. What? Also a fucking golden soup ladle? <laughs> at last, someone found me. I've been waiting. What do you mean at last? You were sitting there looking like a fucking weirdo. I'm Wonder Chef. I travel the world far and wide, seeking gourmet food and travelers that appreciate the importance of fine dining. You'll usually find me in disguise. You mean to tell me that that is your normal caliber of disguise? Are you for real right now? Okay. A food connoisseur should have no problem seeing through it, though. Call it a test, if you will. Motherfucker, did you just call that a fucking test? Are you for real right now? You looked like a fucking leak nearing the penultimate moment of coitus with the fucking dirt. Okay. 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 Alright. Alright. Whatever. We'll just move past this absurdity right now. And it seems like you're one of them. Hey, hey, you've got potential. For that, I'm going to reward you with a recipe. I 
learned Salisbury steak. Not a bad food. I'll give you this so you can practice. Obtained three sets of ingredients for the recipe. Nice. For the love of food, bon appetit. Bwah! <laughs> There are a lot of strange objects scattered throughout the world. Wonder Chef might be disguised as some of them. You're telling me he's not going to be all of them? Is that what you're telling me right now? Okay, then. When you find him, he will reward you with a recipe. Try to seek him out on your journey. Can do. Not like it's gonna be hard. Okay, well, let's see this. Doors like this never open when you want them to. Well, oh, of course. I guess we'll have to climb over the wall and open it from the inside. I guess so. A quick to jump to our last resort, aren't you? <laughs> Just a little bit. Well, I mean, hey. Let's wait for Flynn to come out then. I mean, that's even if Flynn do. comes out, it's not like he's gonna bring Mordio out with him. True. Well, if Flynn comes outside, we can just ask him to let us in, can't we? He's gonna lockpick the fucking door, and it's gonna be wide open when we turn around, isn't it? He'd never go for a plan like this. He's far too much of a goody-goody. Carol, what are you doing? There! It's open! Fucking called it! Alright. Huh? You can't do that! Your guild specializes in hunting monsters, right? Or are you guys into thieves' guild type stuff too? Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, well, I'm pretty much the only one who can do anything like this. <laughs> well, good job, shall we? He's the only lockpick <laughs> in the entire guild. Okay, well. No, there we go. that's bad. We should just wait here for Flynn. It's bad. I don't have the patience to wait for Flynn to just happen to walk out of this town by chance. It was unquestioning obedience to laws and authority in times like this that made me quit the Imperial Knights in the first place. Ah. Uh, now we get a little bit of a uh, little bit of a uh, backdrop into all of that. Yuri's the loose cannon cop when it comes to this bullshit, isn't he? <laughs> loose cannon cop. Yuri, lol. Why am I not surprised <laughs> in the slightest? <laughs> uh, he definitely seems the type. But, but... No buts. Well then, Estelle, keep a look out here for us, won't you? Yeah. Wait, but, but, um... I'm going with you. Well, she changed her tune. <laughs> Oh. Man, there are a lot of Mordio lookalikes here, aren't there? Yeah. Yeah, there are. Excuse me. Do you have a minute? You're going to do that like that. When we've already snuck through a side entrance. And you're just going to walk up and ask one of the randos standing around it if they have a minute to talk. Okay. Well, what do you want? I guess he was too deep in his book to pay attention to the fact that we just came out of the side entrance. Would you happen to know if a knight named Flynn Shifo has come through here? Flynn? Oh, that guy. He was saying something about going to catch someone who'd been vandalizing ruins. Oh. 
Where is he now? I couldn't say. My research keeps me too busy to pay attention to things like that. Fair I, enough. I see. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'll be taking my leave then. Hey, wait up. Tell me one more thing. Is there a famed mage named Mordio around here? Yeah, there are people who want to see that weirdo. <laughs> So you're telling me in this group of bookworms and uber nerds that they call fucking Mordio the weirdo. Are you for real right now? Are you for real right now? What? What? Okay. Alright. So I was right. You know Mordio? No, uh, I don't know anything at all. I don't associate with people like that. Oh. Like that, you say? Hey, I'm not done yet. What? What is it? Tell me where the mage is. Mordio lives alone in a shack back that way. Go and see for yourself if you want. Okay, Thanks. Well, that was easy. Just had to harass Are you sure bit. about this? That was probably not the best way to get info, considering we clearly came through a side entrance we weren't supposed to. But, I mean... <laughs> oh, well. Hmm? Everyone seems to get all out of sorts just from hearing that guy's name. It's weird. Yeah, that is true. This guy called him a weirdo. The guards immediately clammed the fuck up. Yeah, doesn't it bother you? Well, he's a, a blast, you thief. It's no wonder people don't like him. Well, on top of everything else, yeah, that would be icing on the cake of whatever weirdo fucking concoction he is. My analogy fell apart halfway through that. Hmm. Unfortunate. Anyway, let's move on. You know, Yuri, your attitude, your behavior, they don't seem very nightly. Where'd that come from? I mean, we're entering the city through a back entrance, like thieves. This coming from the guy who picked the lock. Yeah. I'm just tagging along to find Flynn, and now you've turned me into a thief. We this haven't is... stolen anything. Sheesh. This doesn't make us a thief. The fuck? This just makes it simple B and E. That's all it does. Come on. Busting my balls, man. Oh, lounge bookshelf. Would you like a rest for 200 gold? It's just a bookshelf, of course. I mean... You're charging people... To rest in a bookshelf. Oh, I don't want to do that. We're all used to sleeping on bookcases, but it might be a little rough for first-timers. Do come again. I'm more upset that you're charging for the fucking experience. That's what I'm upset about. What are these guys doing? Our chief is very warm and even treats underlings like us with kindness. He really is the model of a perfect guild chief. This city sure has a lot of books! I'm not really too crazy about reading, and I have a hard time sleeping in this place. Yeah, you seem like you're too jittery to sit still and look at something for too long. You're one to talk. Hey, what happened to Estelle? She's been over there reading books ever since we got here. Yeah. Hmm. Estelle, time to get going! Hmm. Once she starts reading, you can't pull her away. Huh? Did you say something? This seems to be literature from an ancient civilization. <laughs> She's not even listening. Yep. Sounds about right, though. At Ruins Gate, we specialize in excavation of ruins. It may seem humble, but we take pride in our work. Through excavation, we seek out our world's past. Fair enough. 
The only flaw you might mention is the fact that he's somewhat cowardly. Well, I mean, that, that would, uh, that would get in the way. What the what? Fortune's market, always bringing you what you need, when you need it, at the price that's right. Oh, it's a market. Okay, well, that makes sense. Oh, hello. Well, oh, it cost me money to make them, too. Ah, I was hoping it would be free. But at least it gives me something to go on. At least now I know I can do it. Which is what I was hoping for. Wait. Pineapple gel. Oh! Lemon gel is a higher level version of apple gel. The sourness helps to shake off drowsy. It's, well, that makes sense. I mean... I love lemons, so I mean, this works out well for me. Pineapple gel is 60% of max TP. Don't let the fiber get stuck in your teeth. Are you telling me there's actual pineapples in that motherfucking thing? Special gel. A gummy type medicine. Recovers all. Very useful, but rare and limited in numbers. I'd say so, considering it requires a mystic orb and gel base. Air agaric. Oh, these just require medical herbs. Huh. Now that I'm looking at them, and they're doing percentages of health, I kind of understand why it does it in percentages. It, it's mainly to keep, you know, it's mainly to keep the low tier items useful. At least the way I understand it. It makes more sense that way. Because as you get higher and higher in level, if they're just based off of a number of hit points that they heal at a certain point they're going to get completely outclassed and absolutely end up worthless by the end game so the fact that their percentages of your health still keeps them viable even into the end game not ideal and definitely something you just want to top off with but still keeps them viable so i can get that i can get that and i understand that oh I can make weapons, too? Huh. Karakaze plus one. Huh. There's the Karakaze plus one. The mace, which is a Apparently for Estelle, a simple weapon capable of inflicting fatal damage even against armored foes. Very true. Thank you for putting proper fucking lore behind a maze, because that is what it was used for against armored opponents. Okay. The rapier, a long, thin sword that requires skill to use, praised mainly by duelists for being a gentleman's weapon. And I can just make that in and of itself. Requires a wolf fang and Elysia weed. Oh. Be useful for me and for uh, Estelle as well. That does make sense. Estelle does... Well, at least was w carrying a sword when we first met her. Uh, as the cross counter, step away and resist. Hmm. It would up my, uh, could up the damage I do by, uh, 17, and the damage she does by 34. But, hmm, the mace would be, would require the, uh, 
wand she's currently carrying. Critical guard, magic guard, and guard plus. A lot of that seems like it'd be more useful for Estelle. Honestly. And everything the rapier has would probably be more useful for Yuri. The cross counter, step away, and resist. And this is just an upgraded version of the Karakaze. So it makes sense. Um, let me see first before I do anything else. The Shapka. Ah, fluffy hat. A must-have for cold weather. And I can just make it out of what I currently have. Everyone but Estelle can wear it. And it will benefit repeat the most. Okay, fair enough. The ribbon is weaker than what Estelle currently has on. Okay. Ring mail, a metal armor requiring some skills to appreciate. I could make that. That'd be good. Iron guard, chain guard, a lightweight cuirass, or cuirass, rather, strengthened with a wide metal plate in the chest area. Okay. A half guard, iron plate armor joined together with leather. Well, I mean, generally they were. An excellent shock absorber and very sturdy. I just need jet blank jet blank jet black ink my nose is fucking with me I thought I wasn't that stuffed up <laughs> I need jet black ink to be able to make it leather jacket for dogs it is popular with collectors probably a good idea to get that at least I think so so yeah let's do it Huh. Why won't it let me make other things? Yeah, okay. There we go. Hey, Eureka! Synthesize yourself a new weapon and wreak havoc upon your enemies. Not exactly what I did, but I could do that. Leather boots. Something I already have equipped. On, at least, uh... It's done, Yuri. Quite comfy during battles. Uh, panacea bottle. That ain't gonna happen again anytime soon. Hmm. We could make the ring mail. It is a solid upgrade. We can only do one at a time? Are you for real right now? Come on! Alright. Requires a mandrake eye, a bird feather, and a mane. Okay. And this required a mane, and I didn't need that. Okay, well, I'll make that. I'll make two of these, I guess. And then one of those. And I guess we'll call that good, because I don't need to make apple gels right now. Um, hair band. That's just going to go down, so screw it. Sell that. Sell that. Yeah, because I don't think there's any way to deconstruct anything. If there is... I will absolutely go for it, but I don't think there's a way to deconstruct items. So, I'm going to assume that that is the case. Also, it is very nice that I can immediately equip from the uh, selling and buying screen. That way I can know what upgrades I have currently and what will be an actual upgrade. Um... That brought my physical and magic defense up. Not insignificantly. Uh, but to go to Carol and have him 
Also go to ring mail. There we go. Uh, belly warmer. Let's go to leather jacket. It lowers his agility by 10, but it absolutely ups his physical and magical defense by enough to make it worthwhile. So we'll go with that. And equip the rapier. Actually, you know what? What's the scimitar? Scimitar was a back step. The rapier has a lot more going for it. So we'll do that. I won't sell the scimitar yet. At least not yet. Um... Hmm. Let's see. Sage. Not too bad. That was a lot of money, though. That was a lot of money. But... Oops. I just realized I could just do that for selling. Apparently I can't do it for synthesis, but I can't do it for selling. That makes sense. Um... The weed... Doesn't seem like it's all that necessary. Uh, I'll sell a couple of these. No, no. I'll find something that I need to make with it, and then I'll be annoyed that I sold it at all. Mm. I think I'm going to go with the maze. Because it has magic guard, which he's already mastered. And then everything else is kind of a bonus. Turn Estelle's equipment into raw material. Fair enough. And we'll just fix that afterwards. Oh! And it equips her... We can equip it on her immediately. That's great. So I don't have to go all the way out so I can fix that. It just does it for me. That's amazing. Turn Rapide's equipment into raw material. Yeah, makes sense. Beautiful. I love that. I absolutely love it. Alright. Well, here's hoping no one else needs a uh, ring mail anytime soon. Or so I'd like to say, but with business ruined, we aren't really able to stock a very wide variety of products. It was wide enough. I do appreciate it. The Blastia excavated here were all made by the Critia long, long ago. The Critia? Where the fuck are the Critia? I'd love to be able to discuss Blastia architecture with a Critia engineer someday. I bet. Alright. Eh, it's not enough time yet to think about saving. Ruins. Must investigate ruins. Whoa! I dozed off there. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, that's a really small area. Okay. I'm gonna take a drink real quick. Alrighty. Let's help my throat a little bit. Ooh. Who are you? I haven't seen you anywhere. Well, it doesn't matter, though. <laughs> okay. You're not wearing Blastia clothes. You must be an officer of the Empire. You don't look like an officer at all. Well, it doesn't matter, though. Dude. <laughs> you make it more easy than anything to sneak into a town I'm technically not supposed to be in. I mean, what? I didn't say nothing. Yeah, there's so much blasty around here. Well, I shouldn't go that way. That would probably not be good. I think that's the way out the door. That would probably not be good for me to do. What the fuck kind of clansman motherfucker are you? The what? Hmm? 
The management list and the number of Blastia doesn't match. Just my mistake? I've been so forgetful lately. No, no, you might you might be onto something there. Clansman looking dude. It's locked. It must be a top secret facility. The keyhole has a unique shape. Okay. I don't know if I'd jump immediately to that assumption. But, I mean, you might be onto something. Let's actually save now. Actually, it's about time to... It's getting close to that time to end the episode anyway, so might as well. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode here for right now. And, uh, yeah, we did get pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty far in there, I'd say. Um, we managed to get to Aspio after leaving uh, Halur. We managed to sneak in via Carol's... A uh, lock-picking skill that apparently he pulled out of nowhere. Um, because it was convenient. Uh, Estelle has been reading books left and right. Because, of course, she has. And we got some decent upgrades to our equipment. Due to a shop that's in a library. Some of the things, man. Some of the things in this game. Also, uh, I criticized a Wonder Chef motherfucker who basically was hiding as a leak uh, bouncing in the ground to test me to see if I was worthy of learning recipes this game is weird <laughs> but anyway Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to get through... Uh, <laughs> trying to get through without getting caught, I guess. Because I kind of snuck into this town. And uh, we'll see if uh, I can actually manage it. On top of, you know dealing with more weird convenient storytelling shenanigans like Carol being able to lockpick. Hopefully we get an explanation for that. That makes sense because as a hunter that doesn't make a lot more sense really at all for you. <laughs>